Hi my lovely students how are you all i hope you all are doing well so today in this class we are going to continue with the same lesson of maths from your part 2 textbook maths that is mental arithmetic so open page number 21 page number 21 chapter number 3 mental arithmetic so children already we have started this lesson and we have completed first main second main third main fourth main fifth main sixth main and the seventh main from the exercise 3.1 right so today in this class we are going to start with another main that is eighth main estimate the quotient of each of the following by rounding off to its highest place so here we have to estimate the quotient okay we have to estimate the quotient you know that right in the division we have the quotient divisor dividend then the remainder i'll tell you okay so we have to round off by to its highest place we have to round off it to its highest place okay i mean we have to round off this numbers to the highest place to estimate the quotient okay let's start with the first example that is t98 divided by 82 so children can you see this numbers here 398 divided by 82 first we have to round off both the numbers to its highest place whichever we have done in the seventh man right while um, estimating the product the same thing we have to follow here so which is the highest place here in this number unit 10 100 right so 100 is the highest place here here which is the highest place unit 10 10 is the highest place so here we have to round off to the 10th place and we are here we have to round off to the 100th place okay if you are not seen that video you can get the link in my description or not from that video you will get all the videos link in my description box from first main to the till the seventh main okay children yes so let's do it so here first one if you see here first you have to observe this number okay lesser number i mean we have to find out we have to estimate this number right we have to round off this number means we have to take the before number means here it is in the 10th place so if you see the number here it is 9 means unit if the number at if the number at 10th place is unit 1 2 3 4 then we have to replace unit by 0 10 by 0 then we have to add plus 1 to the number which is there at 100th place means which is there at highest place that will become 3 plus 1 it is 4 right the same thing we have to do here we have to observe this number okay it is 2 means if the number at unit place is 1 2 3 4 then you have to replace unit by 0 then you have to keep this number i mean the number which is there at 10th place unchanged means you have to keep it as it is it will become what 80 right now let's do the division so you know that this is called as a dividend and this is known as a divisor right here 400 divided by 80 okay so this is called as a dividend and this is the divisor right now what you have to do you know that how to do the division right we have to count this table that is 80 table is there uh, i mean see 80 table it is not possible to remember right so the basic i mean i will tell you how you can uh, write the 80 table here you can just need to write which number it is 8 number right so you know that 8 table is yes. can you count this 8 table 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 8 threes are 24 like this right so same thing after that number we have to put the zero to get the 80 table here i will show you you have to divide this number by this number so 80 is there can we get the four number in the 80 table no it is not possible because this is very smaller than this one this is lesser number than this number right then 40 can we get the 40 number in the 80 table no because again it is a lesser than this number right again now 400 can we get the 400 number in the 80 table yes of course because this is a bigger number as compared to the this number right so always the division dividend should be the greater as compared to the divisor then only we can divide the number otherwise we have to move to the next digit okay so here we, see here, we have to count the 80 table till we get the number 400 How to do that? You just need to read the see here. Eighty one is a eighty. Eighty two is a one sixty. Eighty three is a two forty. Eighty four is a three twenty. 
eighty five zero four hundred. If you see here, can you see this table here? Which table it is? Eight one zero eight. Eight two zero sixteen. Eight three zero twenty four. Eight four zero thirty two. Eight five zero forty. Just we need to put this zero after each of this number to get the eighty table. This is one of the trick I am giving to you. Okay, so you can follow this one. So here, uh. It is only in the case of when you have the zero after any of the number after any of the digit. If you have the zero, then you can go with this type of table. Okay. Now you can see it is eighty five zero four hundred, right? So eighty five zero four hundred, right? Now what you have to do? You have to subtract it. So four minus sorry zero minus zero 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 minus zero zero four minus four zero, right? So what is your answer? That is the question. That what we called as a question. Five is the answer, right? This is called as a question. This is called as a dividend. You know that, right? And this is called as a divisor. And this is known as a remainder. Very good, right? Yes. So here the question. What is the question we got? That is a five. So this is our answer. Got it. So five is your question. Understood, children. Now let's move to the another example. Yes. Can you see this number here? Seven eighty six divided by twenty two. Okay. So here I have written the same number. You can see, right? So four eight seven. Eighty six divided by twenty two. First, what you have to do, you have to round off this both the numbers to its highest place. So, which is the highest place here? Hundred, and here it is a ten. So, let's re um, round off it first. We have to observe this number, right? If it is eight, means what it is? You have to replace unit by zero, ten by zero. Then you have to add plus one to the next number. That is the highest hundred number. So, seven plus one is eight. Right. So again, the same thing you have to do here. Here, two is there. We have to observe this number. If the uh, digit at unit place is one, two, three, four, then you have to replace unit by zero. Then you have to keep this number unchanged. That is two as it is. Right. So this is how you have to round off it. Right. Now let's divide these numbers. So eight hundred. Here it is twenty. So eight hundred is the dividend and twenty is the divisor. So you know, you all know that twenty table, of course, right? So first, if you see the twenty table here, the twenty, can we divide this eight by twenty? No, because it is a lesser than the twenty. Now take the eighty. Can we divide the eighty in the twenty? Yes, of course we can, because this is bigger than this number, so we can easily divide it, right? So let's count the twenty table till you get the number eighty into that. So. Twenty ones are twenty. Twenty twos are forty. Twenty threes are sixty. Twenty fours are eighty. So twenty fours are eighty. Right? We got this number eighty. So twenty fours are eighty. Now let's subtract it. Zero minus zero zero. Eight minus zero. Sorry, eight minus eight zero. Right? Now how to bring down next number below? Okay. So it will become what zero. Can we get this zero in twenty table? No. What we have to do in this case, you have to keep this zero as it is here, and what and we got the answer that is forty. So this is your estimated quotient. Got it? So forty is your answer. Understood, children? Now let's move to the third one. Yes. So children, here it is. There is a third one. Can you see this? Three thousand two hundred sixty-five divided by fifty-eight. Now you have to round off this number and this number, right? So first, let's do it here. Here I have written the same number. You can see three thousand two hundred sixty-five divided by fifty-eight. First, you have to round off this both the numbers to its highest place. So which is the highest place here? The thousand is the highest place here, right? So here, which is the highest place? Ten is the highest place. First, let us round off this numbers here. So first, you have to observe this below number. Okay. So the number before the highest place that is a hundred here. So if you observe the number. The two is there. If the number at hundred place is one, two, three, four, then you have to replace this unit by zero, ten by zero, hundred by zero. Then you have to keep this number unchanged. That is thousand number unchanged. So it will become three 
1000 right then divided by 58 same thing you have to observe this number unit number if it is 1 2 3 4 then you have to replace it by 0 and if it is 5 6 7 8 9 then you have to replace this unit by 0 then you have to add plus 1 to the highest number that is to the 10th place so it will become 5 plus 1 6 right so this is how you have to round off the number so let's divide it so right here 3000 divided by 60 right so now you have to count the 60 table the same thing you can apply here as i told you in the case of this example right the same thing now what you have to do you have to write the six table then you have to put zero after the answer so you'll get the 60 table over there okay now see here 60 so can you get the three number in the 60 no it is not possible because this is very less than the 60 now come to the 30 now we have to go to the next digit now it will become what 30 so can we get the 30 number in the 60 table no it is also not possible because the 30 is a smaller than the 60 now you go to the next digit so it will become what now 300 right so can you get the 300 table in the 60 yes of course you'll get because this is a small bigger than the 60 so let's count the 60 table so here i'll write here 61 is 60 62 is a 1 20 63 is a 180 64 is a 240 65 is a 300 right if you see your table 6 ones are 6 6 is a 12 6 three is a 18 6 four is a 24 6 five is a 30 then you need to put zero after that answer so you'll get the 60 table there right so here if you see here 65 is a 300 so 65 is a 300 right so let's subtract it 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 3 minus 3 is 0 right so now you have to bring down the next number that is 0 can you get this 0 in the 60 table no so in this case what you have to do you have to keep this 0 here in the quotient so what is your answer the 50 is your answer that is your estimated quotient got it now let's move to the next one the fourth one that is next one and the last one from your uh, same exercise that you can see here 7687 divided by 43 right so here i have written the same number so you can see i have written the same number here children that is 7687 divided by 43 first you have to round off both the numbers so let's round off it to the highest place which is the highest place here yes yeah, very good thousand is the highest place and here which is the highest place 10 is the highest place so we have to round off this so for that purpose what you have to do here which number we have to observe the 6 if it is 6 means what you have to do unit should be 0 10 should be 0 100 should be 0 but thousand we have to add 1 to it so it will become 8 right yes let's put the comma so it will become what 8000 now same case i mean same thing you have to do here you have to observe this 3 if it is 1, 2, 3, 4, then you have to replace unit by 0 and 10 by same at is, as it is, you have to write this number. Right. So, it is 8000 divided by 40. You have, now, you have to divide 8000 by 40. Right. So, children, just pause the video here. Try to solve it by yourself. Just do the division. Okay. By using, here you can see 40 table is there. You know what you have to do. You just need to go with the 4 table. Then, you have to add 0 to after the digit okay so let's do it just pause the video try to solve your solve by yourself later you continue it and just go through your answer with my answer okay so let's do it children i hope you solved it so here is your answer that is 200 is a question so just i will explain you how it comes to 100 so we have to read the four table right so you can see here 41 is a 40 42 is a 80 43 is a 120 right so he got the number here 80 itself so 41 is a 40 42 is a 80 so 42 is a 80 so here we'll write the 80 0 minus 0 0 0 8 minus 8 0 right 
so now you have to bring down the zero here now it will become what zero 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 can we get the zero in the 40 table no again you have to bring the next number down so again it will become zero 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 right what you have to huh, before of that if you bringing this one if it is not getting divided you have to keep this number as it is of course it will be a zero and the same thing we have to do you are bringing the zero here there's a you cannot get this zero in the 40 table so you have to keep this zero again here so it will become what 200 so 200 year is your estimated quotient okay children i hope you solved it correctly if you if it is not it's okay no problem okay so children in today's class we have solved the uh, problems from the eighth main that is estimate the quotient of the numbers by rounding off to its highest place that is division we have done right so in the next class we are going to solve the ninth main so if you think this video is really useful to you then don't forget to like share with your friends and do subscribe the channel okay don't forget to subscribe the channel so children till then take care of yourself be with me okay and one more thing you'll get all the previous videos link in my description box just go through it okay so bye bye